video I've uh, coloured in the insides of the arch for the rear um, I'm going to let that set and then I'll carry on hopefully when I get to the next bit I can sort this lighting out and stop this blooming that we're getting in there <clears throat> see you in a few seconds right guys next stage is to mount that arch on the back of the ship I've done that I did it off camera because it's I couldn't uh, get a camera in a position where I could film it and hold it because you've got to bend it like you can see where the bends go in it bends this way and it bends over there to, to match the shape of the deck but um, oh no it's not too bad at all so a whole load of decoration to go in there now and that's going to be the next thing I'll have to find a way of putting the camera in a position where I can film it okay um, but that's the next stage is putting that on there and it's done <clears throat> now I've got to pass the wires through oh yeah where the wires are underneath I just put a blob of glue on each one and I just painted them with the buff as it asks and they um, I don't know if you can see but they do disappear you don't see the cables oh I can't see what you're looking at, but I'll see when I edit. Okay, on to the next stage. The stages are to fill in the decoration on the back here. They very helpfully put some little tabs on the uh, on the pieces to, to so you can align them with these formers. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do this off camera because. I need to be in front of it to make sure I get it lined up. That means that puts me between the camera and the picture. So let me get it done. I'll come back to you. Rails fitted. Needs a little touch up of paint, but I think everything that gets installed, you, you only have to have a little bit of glue on your fingers and they're stuck. That's it. So that's that middle rail installed. Um, the next bit is the wooden one up here, so this will be fun. Okay, let me dig it out and I'll come back to you. Okay, guys, the rail is installed. Um, I'm going to stop there because <clears throat> the next part is to start bending and shaping bits of wood to put in these holes down here. Um, you see the three sets of wires at the top there. Will eventually be fitted with uh, lamp standards up there but looking apart I, don't, I know I've got to finish off down here yeah I've got to finish cutting these cannon holes and painting them black but you can see that one has to go that way a little bit but there's quite a bit to take out of these yet this is the the standard fitting at the moment okay that will be me for today. I shall see you in a few seconds, but for me it will be tomorrow morning. Right. <clears throat> I've got one piece of wood. Where's the other one? Oh, Let's see. This is the one by three, which has to be shaped with this one here. So, very easy, this one. It's nice when the wood's small like this, it scrapes dead easy. If you see me scraping the 5x5 the five five and the 2x2 two two and the 3x3 three three for the tail end, oh, I was at it for hours. You seem to be scraping and getting nowhere, but you, I mean you do you take an awful lot off at a time. So. You just got to try and keep it steady. Roll grain. It's quite effective. So I don't know how many pieces of one by three I'm going to need. I've only got one out at the moment. I probably should do two, but uh, I'll do the one now. And if I use it all up, then I'll do it. Again. You can see it takes the shape. When you first start scraping, you think, oh, I'm taking too much off. 
you can't take too much off the shape only lets you take out what's available So that's the one by three. I shall rub that down with a bit of sandpaper before I try to use it. Now, two by three could be a different story. It's harder wood, well, it feels harder, and it's got to have a better profile on it, which is this one here. Yeah, I thought it would take a bit more scraping. effective You can definitely see the, the pattern when you look in the end. At least with these patterns you can't get it upside down. Okay, we'll see how that goes. That's one of each. I'll come back to you when I've got it shaped and ready to go on the ship. Well guys, as you can see, I'm approaching the final stage of uh, this back end. Just got to get the glue moving down this tube. The last bit of glue for a little while because Oh, the next stage is, let me try and keep you in the position in the picture here. The next stage after this is to start the copper plating. So, the eye of Trinidad should be in the centre, right under that centre window, like that. You kind of hope you put it on straight. I haven't. So up it comes again. Right, now it's kind of straight. It's very difficult not to get your hand stuck to it. There it is, that's it, that's it straight now. 
and the eyes right under the middle window under there. There we go. And motor and powers, which is christened. Now the next part is to try and get these um, hold this stern decoration in the right place, which is it's not difficult, it's just awkward. So we start off with the different bit. The um, the triangle is shown as being at the top. So a little bit of glue on the back here. Get it smack bang in the centre. Now, I've got the other pieces laid out, but I'm going to lay them out on here. Um, just got to reposition my camera so you can see what I see, I hope. Now guys, this will be the, the ending of this week's, or oh, tonight's video. So, if I can say my usual spiel, if you like what I'm doing, like, share, subscribe. There doesn't seem to be a, a definite guide as to where this goes. Somewhere about there. Um, yeah, as I was saying. Feel free to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already done so. When you subscribe, you'll see a bell icon will come up. That's the notification icon. And if you click on that, you will be notified when new videos are posted to the channel. Yeah, so new videos are posted in my case, I hope, on a Monday, a wedding, a Monday and a Thursday evening. Providing I've got something to show you, which the next one will be the copper plating of the hull, which is using a little tool which uh, you can purchase from. Artisania Latina I'll try and get this equally space out from the centre it doesn't look too bad what do you think guys is it looking level now these next ones notice they get smaller and smaller as it goes down they've got it right up and touching so that's where I'm going to put it as they get smaller they don't need as much glue is that famous last words? I hope so. So I need a little bit in the top, the middle and the bottom. Teach you bit. 
to go down here. Very good. Guys, I can tell you, if you don't have small fingers, and I don't have small fingers, this is a pain when it sticks to your hand and won't let go. Um, you can see what's happening here, it's not. There we go. The scrolls get smaller as you go down, but it does fit in. And that is some decoration. Now I can see one piece. Oh yeah, there's the other bit. Much the same. Down the other side. Well, it is the same down the other side. It's a mirror image. There we are guys, that's the tail end decoration completed. Quite smart, isn't it? So, <clears throat> that's the end of this video. I'll see you on the next one.